So we are now into a brand new season, a brand new series, Series 7, and that means brand new unlockable cars. Now we have this wonderful thing in front of us, the 250 California, however today's unlockable car is also yet another 250 variant. And at 20 points on the festival playlist it is the Ferrari 250 GT. And here it is, it starts at C-Class with 250 horsepower, 215 foot-pounds of torque. It is actually kind of a very light Ferrari at 2,249 pounds, and it has a 2.95 litre engine. So, let's go take a look at it. And here it is, the 250 GT. I've got to go out to the pause menu just so I get this name right. Berlinetta Lusso. Italians, please, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, hi, and also bye. Cool. So, let's have a look at this thing. This is a wonderful looking Ferrari. And the front of it kind of reminds me a little bit of the DB5. Going to the inside, we've got our dials on the middle for some reason. Ferrari, what was going through your head? And of course, we've also got that wonderful engine, of which I'll go and let you have a listen to now. So here we are with the upgrades for this Ferrari. So if we go to conversion, engine swaps, what do we have? We have three. We have a 1.6 litre inline four turbo rally. We've got 3.5 litre V8 and a 4.5 litre V8, presumably from the Ferrari 458. We'll come back and take a look at that in just a little bit. But for now, we're going to go and build this to the top of C, if we can, because there's not really that much to do. Or we might, mm, you yeah, know, build this thing to the top of C. Now, something also pretty cool about this is we have the option to give it vintage white wall tyres. Very nice. And away we go. Let's see, we've got a lot of other cars alongside us, but uh, this thing is at the very, very top of speed car, uh, C class rather, barring just one PI index point. So this is going to get very, very interesting, and I doubt this thing is going to be very much controllable. But uh, then again, it's C-Class, so hopefully none of the other cars are going to be controllable either, and that should give us a little bit of an advantage. Because just one corner has got us up to 5th, sorry, 4th, <laughs> and also 3rd too, can we get up to 2nd? Yes, we can, we just got 1st to catch, that was actually surprisingly quick. Okay then, let's see, coming out of here, can we get past the other E-Type? I think... If we didn't have as much worse wind, we could have done it that, to be honest. But let's go and throw this thing up third. Going to be risky going around the outside, but it could pay off. And it did! How is this thing in first this early on in the race? That surprises me. So, a fun fact about this car is it was uh, first placed into the Forza Horizon series way, way, way back in 2014 with Forza Horizon 2, where this car originally served as a barn find and has been in every Forza Horizon game since. Although, it was missing from 5 at launch, however, now it is back. And as we come up to 97%, we're so close to the line, and across we go. Managing to somehow keep that first from 30-something percent all the way to here with a wondrous time of 2 minutes 33. That is incredibly slow. So, moving on from there, we go to Manufacturer Pen Colors, of which we have a lot, so I might have to do this all in one breath again. Shall we do this? Yeah, go on. We've also got three types of red. Right, we have with inhale mark about here. This one, 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 and that's about it. It's a little bit of a shorter list this time, but honestly, I really quite like it in that. Oh, that looks really, really nice. Also got a very bright red. We've got a slightly deeper red, and oh, I don't know what to go with. So now we're here with the 4.5 liter V8. So let's go ahead, line ourselves up here, and go and see, can we launch control an old car like this one? We can. So away we go in three, two, who needs a timer? Let's go. <laughs> We've got to go and see what speed this thing will do through the camera, and my console really did not like that launch. Oh wow. Right, let's see, what can we get through the camera from this, essentially what is a very, very light bathtub. We've got 191, which is honestly not too bad for a car from 1962. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is go and throw on some road tyres and go and see what top speed this thing will do. And so here we are now at the edge of the motorway, we are back to rear wheel drive with 900 horsepower. So a bit less than the cars we usually run, but let's go ahead and see what top speed we'll get out of this thing, because at the moment it is nothing but constant wheel spin. So hopefully we'll get some grip, and from that we'll get some top speed. 
So coming out of the speed zone, we have 223. Not bad. And now we've got to see what it does on downhill, which is going to be interesting, so I have to try and control this thing long enough for it to actually get there. Okay, so after some attempts at trying to control this thing, we're now at the edge of the speed zone, or speed camera downhill thing. Let's go. What can we do? 236, 237, 238, 239, 240. Not bad. I wish I could have got 10 more miles an hour of it, um, out of it, rather, just to say that 250 did 250. But honestly, that's actually really, really cool. And now we've got to go and see if it'll drift. And judging by how I tried to drive this thing earlier, I think it will. Okay, so here we are now with the 250 GT. So we'll go ahead and see what this thing will do on our favourite little drift zone. So let's see what we get for run number one. It's going to be a 30,000 point run. It is 39,241. That's a really, really strong starting run. So let's go and see what it'll do for attempt number two. Which is going to be interesting because I've got to try and control this thing, talk and not hit a wall all at the same time, which is honestly a lot trickier than people think. So let's go ahead and see that's, yep, only 31,000 on that one sadly, but 39,000 going the other way, that was a really strong opening run. And since I put this car in this paint, it can only remind me of, um, oh, I don't know what the name of it is, but anybody remember that spy car from Cars Movie 2? Anyway, going on from that, we'll go back in and just do an extra run of maybe not. Anyway, I think that's where we're going to call it for the video on the 250GT Bernaletta Luso. Again, Italians, please correct me if that pronunciation is wrong, because I have a very, very, very big feeling that it probably is. But honestly, this car is, actually, it is pretty good, and it is so worth getting, because, uh, well, like I say, it's a car that's been in every single Horizon game since 2014. The only exclusion is it was not in Forza Horizon 1. Or was it? I'm going to have to start my 360 up and have a look at that. But yeah, in fact, if you want to see a video on Forza Horizon 2, do go ahead and let me know in the comments. But yeah, that is it for this video, so thank you very much for watching, I do hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Feel free to like and share, because that obviously helps out the channel a lot. Subscribe if you're new, leave a comment, I love to read them, and try to apply to as many as I possibly can, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching, Tech out. There's a jump here. Should I? Yeah, why not?